Belgium's national dish, moule frit. Even though Belgium is not a big mussel producer, its people seem to love eating them, preferably served with some golden and crispy Belgian fries. We couldn't choose a better timing for making moule frit, as the mussel season just started in Europe and supermarkets are being flooded with these nutritious beardy black shells. So let's make some in this episode. We won't need many ingredients except for fresh mussels, which usually can be found cleaned and vacuum packed in your local supermarket when in season. Moreover, some butter, an onion, a branch of celery and plenty of ground black pepper. And for our Belgian fries we only need a few potatoes which should be floury and high in starch as well as some rendered beef fat. Let's start by washing and peeling our mealy potatoes which often have a thick earthy skin before we grab our measuring tape. Belgian fries shall have a width of 11 to 12 millimeters which is a bit short of half an inch. So make sure to be precise if you want to impress your exchange student friends from Belgium. Consider preparing a template with the correct width and use it to cut perfect fries. Once done transfer your fries into a cold water bath and let soak for approximately half an hour. While your fries soak, cut your celery and onion into small pieces and if you like parsley, chop a handful of flat Italian parsley as well. Grab your mussels and let's move over to the sink where we will clean them. Wash and debeard your mussels where necessary and place them into a big bowl with clean cold water. Your fresh mussels should be closed, which is a sign that they are still alive. In case they are open, tap them against each other and they should close. If not, their souls probably left this world, so discard them together with those whose shells are broken. Great, now let's move to the stove and start cooking. We will begin by frying our potatoes, for which we will put the beef tallow into a deep pot and let melt over medium high heat. In parallel, place some kitchen towels on a baking sheet, drain and properly dab your potatoes dry. Regarding the process for crispy golden fries, we were told by our Belgian friends that the secret lies in frying them twice, once on low and once on high temperature. So bring your beef tallow's temperature, which should be all oily now, up to 140 degrees Celsius or 280 degrees Fahrenheit and and drop the first batch of fries in there. Don't overcrowd your pot and mix well right away. If your fries stick to each other, not all of their surface area will be exposed to the same amount of heat, which basically will result in them not crisping nor browning evenly. After around 5 minutes, the surface of your fries will turn a bit whitish in color. Those are burst starch granules that start to gelatinize. Now is the time to get them out of the hot oil, drain and spread them over paper towels on your baking sheet. Spread them out, but don't dab them off, for we want the gelatinized starch to remain on the fries. Proceed in the same way with the second batch once the oil is back up on temperature, drain and set aside for them to cool down. Next up, our mussel in nature. Place a big enough pot with high walls over medium heat and start melting the butter. Add the chopped onion as well as celery and saute for around 5 minutes till tender. Mix in the black pepper. Place your bowl of mussels close by and increase the heat of your pot to high. Grab as many mussels as you can by hand and quickly transfer them into the pot. Don't fully drain the water. Give your mussels a good mix, distributing the veggies among them. Put on the lid and let cook over high heat for 7 minutes. In parallel, bring up the temperature of your oil to around 180 degrees Celsius or 360 Fahrenheit and put one pre-fried batch, which should have cooled down by now, into the hot oil and immediately give them a good stir. Fry for 3 to 5 minutes till the potatoes start to slightly float and go golden in color. Make sure to not forget the mussels in the meanwhile though, for the mussels closest to the pot's bottom will open up and cook first. Hence it's important that you mix your mussels by shaking the pot without opening its lid. Do this around 3 times, evenly spread over the 7 minutes of cooking. Remember that the steam is hot and make sure to not burn yourself. When the potatoes are done, drain and transfer them into a bowl covered with kitchen paper and immediately salt them before giving them crispy fries the ride of their lives. One last shake for the mussels before frying the second batch of potatoes like business as usual once the temperature is back up. And that's pretty much it. The mussels should have all opened up and cooked by now, so turn off the heat, mix in the parsley and keep the lid on while we set up the feast. Delicious and crispy frit belge prepared in beef tallow as in Belgium with a big tasty pot of mussels provided to us by our world's great oceans that we shall keep clean and free of plastic. By the way clean, make sure to wash your hands for moule frit must be eaten by hand. Don't even try to find the right cutlery, rather use an empty shell to pinch and pick the mussel flesh before transferring all the deliciousness into your mouth. Our moule frit recipe yields enough for two people so make sure to share and also join our community for more recipes from around the globe. Bon appétit and it's Maclet.